So today we have Bakugo from My Hero Academia taking on Zuko from Avatar The Last Airbender. Who wins? Well, let's find out. So, before we get to the firebending and the explosive quirk and whatnot, let's talk briefly about physicality, as both of them are pretty physically impressive. Zuko has easily lifted heavier people and tossed them, as well as shattered a steel chain with a stomping kick. He's easily withstood being sent flying and being blasted by each element, whether it's earth, fire, air, water. Uh, he's fast enough to dodge and even redirect lightning projected at him from either his sister, Azula, or his father, Ozai. He's also a highly trained and skilled martial artist and swordsman, and firebending itself is also a martial art form. Uh, but Bakugo has overpowered restraint and ragdoll Deku, and he's thrown both ca uh, Kaminari and Mineta high into the air simultaneously, one hand each. He's withstood hits from Deku at 5% and 8% of his power, uh, Kaminari's 1.3 million electric volt, and he endured his ribs being crushed, and he remained conscious through all of that. Uh, not to mention just hits from All Might, remained conscious and kept on fighting. He's dodged lasers, dodged an invisible attack from behind, kept pace with Deku at 30%, and he's even been described to have lightning fast reflexes. It seems like Bakugo has the edge physically, as his durability seems to be better, but that's also because of his tenacity and his pride, not just his raw durability. We'll get into that a little bit later. Uh, but now, the fun part. Zuko's firebending versus Bakugo's explosive quirk. Well, let's talk about Bakugo first. So basically, what his quirk is, is explosions. He can project explos explosives from his hands. That's literally it. He's easily destroyed three tons of debris raining down on him with one massive blast. He's destroyed a massive chunk of Tedoroki's ice that was taller than the stadium that they were fighting in. Blew a massive hole into a building, caused an explosion the size of large buildings, redirected a an 8% Deku punch, causing another ex, uh, massive explosion, and he's produced massive explosions that are capable of not only staggering, but actually hurting a weakened All Might. And although, yeah, he was weakened, he was still the most powerful hero in the world. So, still very impressive. He can also use his quirk to propel himself through the air like he's flying. And he can do this really fast. So fast, in fact, that he crossed 50 meters in just 4.13 seconds. He's also quite skilled in using his quirk in combat, as he's really good at using it to redirect or propel himself over foes to hit them from behind. But he's also just as likely to just rapid fire his explosions rather than use them skillfully, because he knows he has a powerful quirk. And, and this is normally when his pride comes into play. Uh, but, moving on to Zuko. Zuko's firebending advanced significantly throughout the show as he mastered it and as he matured. He was able to melt an ice prison by Katara while she was amped by the moon, blast three people away, and match Azula, who is far more aggressive than Zuko is. <laughs> He's blasted through buildings, stone, sand sculptures, and even a large crystal. He can also create constructs with his fire. He's formed shields to block explosions and blasts from other elements. And he's also created fire daggers and whips. And the whips were able to match Katara's water whips. He's created large ring of fires and even created a fire tornado. He can also use his flames to propel himself and more or less fly. He's also mastered lightning redirection. Uh, he learned from his uncle and he's redirected both Azula's and Ozai's lightning. His fire is also more powerful during the day and while in hotter climates. So, who wins? Well, in terms of raw power, raw destructive power, 
Bakugo definitely has the edge. His explosives are just way bigger and more destructive. But with technical skill and versatility, Zuko is definitely taking that edge. There's another factor I need to talk about. Just like everyone else in My Hero Academia, Bakugo's quirk strains and hurts his body if he overuses it and surpasses his physical limit. Because that's all quirks are. They're just physical powers. That's all they are. Uh, they affect you physically. Uh, we saw this when he and Deku fought All Might in their final exam. Now, his physical limit has grown with his training uh, and his quirk is meant to beat enemies quickly because they are explosions. Explosions. Not to mention his ultimate move, something I haven't mentioned yet, the AP shot, which is a highly concentrated explosive beam of sorts designed to one-shot almost anybody. That would probably one-shot Zuko for sure. But seeing how Zuko is redirected lightning, I'm sure he can dodge it. Also, Zuko is... Uh, adapt to prolonging a battle if it would benefit him and in this case it definitely would also any explosion that uh, Bakugo causes Zuko can manipulate the fire around it and use it to his advantage so we got a guy who projects powerful and massive uh, explosions and has more raw power but has a physical limit Versus a master firebender who is more skilled and versatile. Yeah, I think I'll side with Zuko on this one. Not only because of Bakugo's physical limit, but also because of his just angry, prideful, and tenacious personality. And because of these, he's more prone to making a mistake that Zuko can capitalize on. And that has happened several times to him. It's caused him to lose several times. It's also uh, led him to victory several times as well which is why i think he definitely could win but i think zuko is winning at the end of the day like if it was like their very first fight yeah i'd say zuko is winning this one zuko wins like and subscribe if you did enjoy leave a comment of what you think and hit the notification bell to be notified of all my future videos and all the great stuff see you on the next one peace